Armenian person was with you. Armenian person is on the air of Noor TV. Meet my today's guest. Today, the Armenian person is the Queen of Canon, Hasmik Leiloyan. This musical instrument receives magical power in her hands. She plays so beautifully, it seems that the instrument was created especially for her. Hasmik Leiloyan's name has been known to a wide range of listeners for a long time and enjoys the love and respect of the supporters of folk music performing art. In 1982, she graduated from Yerevan Komitas State Conservatory, Khachatur Avedisyan's class. She was the first graduate of the Department of Folk Instrument. She is a prize winner of a number of international and national competitions. In 1974 till 1999, she was the soloist of the Armenian State Philharmonic. Then, in 1992 to 2002, the soloist of the radio, Armenian radio and the television pop symphony orchestra. She has cooperated with various orchestras, has given concerts in numerous countries of the world. She has many radio and television stockpile recordings, about a dozen CDs and videos. She has taught a number of musical schools and colleges over the years. Now she teaches at Komitas State Conservatory of Yerevan as well as the State Pedagogical University of Armenia. She is an honored and people's artist of Armenia. She created a student ensemble Zvartnots, which actively participates in various concerts and stock recordings. Hello, Ms. Leiluyan. Hello, Ms. Leiluyan. Within the framework of Armenian person, I have talked to various artists, but I have never met anyone who has started teaching at the age of 16. What story is this, Ms. Leiluyan? How did this happen? I started teaching at the age of 16. There were music halls at that time, and as in my school years, I was already known as a good musician. I was invited to work there. When I went there, the director looked at me and said, where is your passport? I said, I don't have it yet. He told me, okay, dear, come back when you get your passport. When I came home, I was telling about it and they came after me, told me to go back again. And when I arrived, they hired me. And that's how I started working, teaching canon in a musical hall. It was my first year in Romanos Melikian College. I had just been admitted, and that's how my teaching career began. At what age did you first become familiar with canon? I was 9, 10 years old. My parents, especially my father, wanted me to go to a music school. He was not from the field of art, but loved music very much. He had played the kamancha in his youth and wanted his children to practice music. My brother and I chose that path and became professional musicians. How did you get your first canon? At first, I didn't have a canon for almost a year. I studied on my friend's instrument. Almost a year later, my parents bought a very expensive and extremely high-quality instrument from the renowned master Jakob Yeritsyan, who at that time had made an innovation experiment and had created three similar instruments. The two other canons were bought by older canon players. 
and the outer part of those instruments was broken and cracked, and the one I bought is still there. It is my first instrument, and I keep it till now. I've had many instruments since then, but I keep that instrument like the apple of my eye because I have so many good memories associated with that instrument. Miss Leiloyan, who will you give that instrument to if one day you decide that you should give it to someone? To be honest, I haven't thought about it. The time will come, we will see. Isn't there anyone on your mind right now? Since my children did not practice music, and especially canon, I should probably find one of the students. Who? I don't know. Do we have young and promising female canon players today? Of course we have. The main goal of years of work is educating future good musicians. We educators do everything for it. We transfer the accumulated experience, we apply new methods, and we also familiarize them with the requirements of the time. The rest depends on their skills, talent, ability to understand, learn, and express correctly. It is a great honor for me to study in the class of RA People's Artist Laureate of International Competitions, Dr. Professor Comrade Leiloyan. We can learn a lot from her, both personally and professionally. She made a huge contribution to the development of the Armenian canon performance art, the development of technique and the recognition and establishment of the Armenian canon on the international stage. She is the first to adapt a classical, pop, and universally known works for canon. Comrade Leiloyan has a unique approach to us, students. Our classes are very interesting interesting and fun. She does a tremendous job during both individual and ensemble trainings. I have been playing in Zvartnot Ensemble for two years. We perform both compositional and folk works. During the lessons, we not just play or do lessons, but she also gives a lot of advice on various topics and we can address her any question, being sure that she will help us with her advice. I have been composing since I was nine years old, and I carried Hasmik Leluyan's music in me. The 90s were cold and dark years, and when I saw Hasmik Leluyan on the air of public TV, I felt happy. I adored the sound of her cannon, which oozed from Hasmik Leluyan's fingers. And I wanted to learn to play the cannon myself, but my parents never took me to cannon classes. Many people play the canon, but the music created by Hasmik Leiloyan is something different, which invades your soul and completely absorbs you with its magical sounds. Hasmik Leiloyan is a multi-layered creator. Every time I listen to her, I imagine an artist sitting in front of a canvas with a palette in her hand and creating a new painting. As an artist creates and adds new colors to his painting, so Hasmik Leiloyan creates and enriches the work with unique musical colors. It seems that canon player is not among the fashionable and modern professions. Is there a demand? Are there applicants? Yes, there is a demand. There will be interest when specialists will be able to constantly develop the tool, give it the breadth of time. It comes from the creation of new forms of performance, the performance of new works in addition to the Armenian folk and spiritual music, and works of the Armenian composers, as well as performance of classical, jazz, pop works, music of different nations. You should increase the performance list and make it multi-genre. This makes the tool more interesting. Ms. Leiloyan, the musician Hasmik Leiloyan is represented in various encyclopedias of 21 countries of the world. 
What is your opinion? Was it the result of your talent or hard work? I don't think that you can achieve success and recognition without one or the other. Both are important. No matter how talented you are, you won't achieve anything without hard work. I thank my God for the gift given to me. Also, I thank my nation for appreciating my art, and I am happy that my art is loved and appreciated in many countries of the world. Miss Leluya, you said a very nice thing that you are appreciated in both in Armenia and in different countries. But what do you think? Is the Armenian audience warmer than the foreign audience? I have not felt a lack of warmth either here or abroad. It is very pleasant for me abroad because indeed they receive me very warmly and there is a lot of interest because Armenia, they have known both Canon and me for a long time while many people abroad are just familiarizing themselves with the Armenian Canon and its magical sounds. I feel great joy when I hear everyone's enthusiastic reaction. She is doing a great job in spreading the canon worldwide, adapting European works for the canon. She becomes the first performer and spreader. This is evidenced by the fact that she has many cities, teaching manuals, stockpile recordings that students use. She is still busy with this work. We all know that from the beginning, men played the canon. We have Khachatur Avetisyan, who was a canon player, but Hasmik Leloyan, with her activity, beauty, majesty, splendor, and magnificent performance, turned the canon, that diving instrument, into the instrument that should be played by the woman herself. I know Hasmik Leloyan as one of the most wonderful musicians of my life, whose music sounds not only in my ears, but in my heart, in my soul, and when I'm in some kind of work, I listen to the music created by Hasmik Leloyan with pleasure. Ms. Leluyan, in one of our conversations, you made a very interesting statement that was impressive. You mentioned that a person with a bad or poor soul cannot be a good artist. I completely agree with you. If possible, let us elaborate on this, please. And I am sure about that, yes, if your soul is pure and busy creating the beauty, you will never speak or think about bad things. Accomplished people will never allow themselves to speak ill. When there is a need to help, correct a mistake, put on the right path, then you can express yourself in a different way. And by lying and discrediting, you can't achieve anything. You will only waste the time of your life. I am sure of that. I must say that there have been many disruptors in my life. Later, I realized that I am grateful to those people. Even in my interviews, it is written that I am grateful to them, because if it wasn't for their attitude, had they not created those obstacles, I definitely wouldn't have done as much as I have done in my life. Now, too, I thank such people who wanted to interfere at some point, but they never succeeded. On that great road that you have walked, can you remember what was the biggest obstacle that you have faced? I didn't see them as obstacles, as in my musical creative life. I have constantly made changes and created new things. Maybe feeling the time requirements, walking with the time, looking ahead of the time. And this was not accepted by people who did not manage to feel and understand 
understand the time and the future. Perhaps because of that fact, there were no such big obstacles for me to stop. No, it didn't happen, because I didn't stop. I just went ahead doing my job, never paying attention to who would feel bad about that and what they intended to disturb. How old were you when you went on stage for the first time? If I don't count the school years when we also went on stage, I went on the professional stage after school uh, when I gave my first solo concert uh, with a canon which was Nova. It had never happened that a two-part concert was played with a canon. And after that concert, I was invited to the Armenian National Philharmonic as a soloist and uh, was already on stage every day. My step towards great art in addition to new forms of performance, which was created by playing, overcoming classical, difficult virtuoso works, was also that solo concert and that I dared to play in 1974 a two-part concert where sounded Sarsatz's Gypsy Melodies, Chopin's Waltz, Mazurka number 25, Sensance's Introduction, Rondo, Capriso, Litz Rhapsody number 2, Paganini's Venice Carnival, 24 Caprices, Alberti's Perlit, which are world works and many such works, too many to count, and next to that, of course, works of Armenian composers, a very large concert program, after which, of course, constantly adding to the list, because I was already completely in concert activities. Many Eastern nations consider the canon to be their own, I can confidently tell you that Hasmik Leloyan has made a great contribution to the creation of the educational and concert literature of the Armenian school of canon, and has also promoted the Armenian type of canon through concerts and events in different countries of the world. I know that she has also contributed to the change of the instrument and was able to create a more Armenian canon, the one that can sound in tune with the heart, soul and mind of Armenian. She really did a great job and created a huge school of canon, which I think is really a very decent work as a national value. Miss Leloyan, we all have someone in our lives, and it doesn't matter how we do our work, that person always supports us. Who is that someone in your life? At that time, it was my brother, Artashes Leloyan, who was a well-known musician, and unfortunately he is gone now. In the 90s, we didn't have a big orchestra of folk instruments yet. He gathered and united folk instrument players by his side so that they would not lose their profession and thus created a great orchestra of folk instruments. Unfortunately, he passed away too soon and, in general, I have always been praised by those around me, for which I am very grateful. But that praise can backfire. One cannot constantly praise a person, but along with praising my brother also said other things. If he wanted me to overcome something, a difficulty, a complex work, he said, someone from our course plays that piece and plays it very well. And I believed I sat down to practice. How can someone do it? And I can't. And that helped me even more. And who was your critic? There are many critics. No one face to face, many behind my back. But I should say that I take criticism as normal. I listen, I think, and then I despise it. Of course, if I feel healthy criticism, which I really need, I also agree. I definitely follow that criticism. But in general, I try to make few mistakes in life. Do you easily take advice? 
If a person gives advice, I am grateful. If it convinces me, all the more. But when I have something to say and I know what I'm doing and I'm sure about it, I don't like anyone to interfere with it. I know what I have to say, even if something is less, something is more, but I want to say what I have to say. There are both good and bad sides to being guided by advice. It is possible that the advice will help or, on the contrary, hinder your way of thinking, your idea. That's why I was more ind independent. Do you remember your first meeting with your husband? Yes, it was a very nice meeting. It turns out he had been following me for a long time, has wanted to approach me, but never succeeded. But there was an occasion when we met in a company, I felt that he was paying special attention. We got to know each other and after that we managed to meet. We got married in a very short time. Mother is a very organized, punctual and goal-oriented woman. And she demanded us to be like that too. She is perfect not only in her work, but also at home, in our upbringing, our quality of life and education. Her demands were strict, of course. Being children, we bypassed them. I would really like to have her personality traits, to be like her both as a mother and as a wife. What I have seen in our family. Your children did not follow your path. But deep down, did you wish they had something to do with music too? My children took music classes. The important thing is that they played and felt what music is. I never forced them. I left them freer in their desires and thank God they found both their work and studies. She has everything drafted and lined up. Nothing just happens to her. The day starts already planned. I have never seen her confused not knowing what to do, even at the most difficult moments. What do you consider the most beautiful period of your life? There have been many different and beautiful periods of my life. Uh, well, of course, youth has its beautiful memories, getting married, uh, starting a family, but life in a family has a great meaning. When you start a family, have children, your life takes on greater meaning. And of course, the art that goes along with it, it has always been beautiful. But the losses were heavy for me. Parents, relatives, brother, sister, husband. It hurts a lot. You work as hard as you can to keep your pain to yourself not to wrap it around other people's necks, not to create bad moods, because, as they say, everyone's wants hurts him. Besides human losses, what can make you very sad? Pointless waste of time. Time is very precious to me. I always appreciate it. Changing houses, moving, building, living in a different place are easy for me. I'm not addicted to anything. I'm just addicted to and I love my instruments, the canons. You have to be in tune with them, feel that instrument, because you express what your soul has to say and your thoughts with that instrument. What can make you happy? Birth of new children in my family, happiness of my children, success and work-wise, the new concert invitations, the books I created and published, the recordings, the cities, they are a separate joy, 
because you are able to realize your sensation in such a way that others will also be able to listen and appreciate and enjoy hearing them. It is a joy to me when people listen and speak very warmly of my performances. I have many chances to experience joy and among those, I should also mention my students were educated thanks to my pedagogical activity and not only them, but also the people who use my CDs, books, and express their gratitude. There are many things that a person can be happy about. Have the awards changed anything in your life? Only a sense of responsibility. I even have awards that I have received, but haven't even opened them. I don't even have them here now. I received a gift from the Sultan in the Oman Opera House. I didn't even open it. You just feel good that your work is appreciated. I have never been after it. The awards have come after me, for which I thank my nation and those abroad in different places and different countries. I am grateful for everything. What can you not forgive in human relations? Betrayal and lying. Lying has very deep roots. If a person becomes a liar, he will also be a traitor and all bad things are to be expected. Do you consider yourself a happy person? Yes, why not? Do you have dreams? Yes, but I will hardly mention them out loud. If I have dreams, I try to release them. If there are problems, I try to solve them. I have never complained, I have never been a protestant, I will never be. The problem should be solved and not cried over. Sitting, complaining about this and that, who is guilty, why is guilty. You should be able to satisfy your desires and fulfill your dreams as much as you can. What are your strengths? I cannot consider myself strong or weak. I try to be the way I am. How would you describe yourself? When it comes to describing, I would like to present the best, but I cannot describe myself. She is delicate in every matter. She can help us in any matter and we trust her. She is very feminine, gentle. We follow her example in everything. If we make mistakes while playing, the approach is generally not strict because she understands the situation and calmly explains how to do. That's why the classes are not stressful at all. We go to classes calmly and with pleasure. Very kind, inspiring, empowering. I haven't seen anything bad to mention. She is a perfect person in her work and life. As an individual, she has always been interesting. I have always followed her musical activities. I was surprised by Hasmik Leloyan's creative flights. She never gets old in her work. Hasmik Leloyan is a very interesting person, practical, determined, purposeful, a very good friend in a company. Hasmik Leloyan is a noble woman of an original type, a rare kind of communicator in contact with people, kind, a well-wisher. Just as her music is mellifluous, so is she. She is a wonderful friend, a wonderful mother, a wonderful grandmother, a wonderful person. I know her as always young, smiling, both in spirit and physically.
And I wish the Armenian nation to have many of Hasmik Leluyan type. What do you regret? I regret that my husband is not with me now. We loved each other very much. I could have carried out more activities. I don't regret anything else. I have lived a normal life and I live a normal life. Thank you, Ms. Leluyan, for the beautiful, pleasant and sincere conversation. Thank you too.